starting tonight, North Carolina lawmakers have reached a deal on the state budget. They revealed some new details just in the past 90 minutes. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Haggerty and I'm Deborah Morgan. We're learning more about what's included in the budget, including bigger than expected raises for state employees and teachers. WRL's Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie is live with more details. Laura. You know, state lawmakers had a lot of money on the bottom line to work with this year. They had a surplus of nearly $6 billion, actually more than $6 billion. Well, they ended up not spending very much of that. Uh, the total amount they're proposing to spend is $27.9 billion. That is an increase of $0.9 billion over the budget they already had approved for this year. Their budget puts $7.7 billion into reserves, including $1 billion just to deal with inflation. Uh, the proposal includes teacher raises that average 4.2 percent, including step increases. Most state employees would see raises of 3.5 percent. That's up 1 percent over the earlier budget. And state retirees would see a 4 percent rather than 3 percent one time bonus. Now, one thing that's not in this budget is tax cuts. And last year, lawmakers had included in their budget a five year tax plan. And some of those small tax decreases or, or, or cuts are already expected to take effect this year. Senate leader Phil Berger said lawmakers just decided not to add any extra tax cuts or rebates. There's always a discussion about things that uh, could be in, uh, aren't in, um, maybe uh, should have been in. Uh, and um, uh, so it's uh, really, this is the budget that we have. Uh, it is a budget that uh, is supported uh, very vocally by uh, members of the House and the Senate. It is the right budget for North Carolina at this time. Uh, the proposal still has to get through the House and the Senate this week before getting to the governor's desk. That's not expected to be a problem. When, <clears throat> when it gets to Cooper's desk, however, that is the question. Democrats, some Democrats have been saying they think the governor might veto it. Uh, why would the governor veto it, Laura? Well, I think um, the governor wanted a 5% increase for teachers, 5% raise. This is coming in slightly under that. Same for state employees, coming in slightly under that. Um, however, there are a lot of things in this budget that he probably supports, um, including money for broadband, money, uh, more money for water and sewer projects, school construction, school safety. Uh, so lots of spending there in places that the governor has called for spending before. So, you know, I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see what the governor thinks of it. What else caught your attention in this proposal? Oh, there's lots of things. There always are. It's hundreds of pages, as you can imagine. So, uh, but one thing that's really interesting is that they're going to be taking some of the sales tax revenue the state gets and putting that into transportation. And what um, House leaders said was that the gas taxes that are coming in are not keeping up with the needs that the state has to keep up its highways and build new roads. And a lot of that is because folks are using less gas and using more gas fuel efficient cars, electric cars. So they're starting to shift some money um, into the transportation fund just to keep up with those demands. That's a new, that's the first one on me, Deb. You know, you and I have seen these budget processes go months and months over the deadline. So pretty amazing that they're actually coming down close to the wire to get this approved. Exactly. You know what? And I mean, the uh, fiscal year ends at midnight on Friday morning, and they think they're going to have this passed by Friday or at the latest Saturday day. Quite progress. All right. Laura Leslie, live at the Legislative Building. Thank you, Laura.